Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I've got some form tips for you. We're gonna be covering four exercises in this video. Before we get started, don't forget to click the link in the description box down below and get the January calendar. And you can sign up there and get the rest of the year's calendars right to your inbox as the months come out. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna be covering the plank. Okay, we've got a lot of different variations of the plank and there's a lot of cheaters out there. So I'm gonna show you guys what's up, what's really going on. We're gonna start off with the form that's legit first, the good form first. So here we are in the plank position. First thing you wanna see is your shoulders and hands positioned. Okay, I'm guilty of this. We, a lot of us bring our arms in and close our hands like a triangle because it gives us a little bit extra, I don't know, less pressure, I guess. So the right way to do it is planks and shoulders. Shoulders with the hands are in parallel. So just like this, shoulder width apart, this is the proper position. The second proper thing is the head. Where is the head? So if you actually look down, you can, you're a little bit cheating yourself you're, if you can still have the proper body form. But if you look up, the head is the heaviest part on the body. And if you look forward, just slightly looking forward, not crazy like up, you know what I mean? Because you want your spine to be in the same line. So if you slightly look up, you're actually increasing the weight on the body and that's helping you with the tension. Okay, third thing is the body position. We have a lot of people who wanna dip down too low and they wanna dip up too high or people who are here and they just arch their back and stick their butt out. So we have this person, we have this person, and we have the low rider. Those are all incorrect positions for the plank. The second thing is, the, or the other thing is the feet's position. So feet should be just like the shoulders, shoulder width apart. So now that we know a few of the tips, I'm gonna show you the proper form. So here it is, guys. Right here. So we're looking slightly forward, just forward in general. And then the body, I'm kind of, what would you say? Like bringing the pelvis in and flexing the core and holding the body up with the hands and the elbows shoulder width apart and slightly looking forward. Okay, that's the proper position. So one more time, here we go. Just like that. Okay, you can open your hands, close your hands, whatever's more comfortable for you. That is the plank. Second thing we have is the push-up. So it's already down here. <laughs> so here we go with the push-up. I'm gonna do it girl style because that's just my style. So this is the wrong way to do the push-up. We're just moving the upper body down here and that's not the right way to do it. The second thing is, depending on what type of push-up you're doing, you want your arms to be in certain positions. So if you're working on the tricep, bring them close to the body. If you're working on the chest, you wanna go outside the body. But that's neither here nor there. We're talking about body position. So here we go, crossing the legs. If you're doing a, an assisted push-up like this, your, your back and your butt and everything should be in one single line, as well as the head, okay? So the head, like I said, heaviest part of the body, okay? We want the head to work with us. And you don't wanna look down because then it's gonna, you know, it impairs the airways and it's harder for you to breathe. So looking nice and easily forward, lower your whole body and bring it back up. You don't have to touch your boobs to the ground. That's another like thing somebody made up. Like get as low as like the squat, go as low as possible. So the body is in a straight line, boom and up. You'll notice I'm not doing this. You see how my butt and my upper body are in different? All in one. Boom, just like that, okay? You also don't want to arch your back or sink yourself in like this. <laughs> that, that doesn't work either. So just make sure when you're, when you're doing your push-ups, you're all in one line. So this goes for a regular push-up as well. You're all in a line and boom, just like that, okay? So that's the push-up. The next thing we're gonna cover is the sit-up. This is <laughs> the proper way to do a sit. Let me show you the right way first, okay? 
depending on how high you want to go that's a crunch and then a sit up is all the way up just like that okay there's a lot of people including myself so no shade we like to just just do this and you're just moving your head at the end of the day you know what i'm saying like you're just literally moving your head the whole point is to move the abs so putting your hands here and sitting all the way up just like that crunching the body just like that okay so be careful about your neck position and don't just do this because you're really not doing anything at all you're probably gonna get dizzy the last exercise I want to share with you is the Russian twist so this is core abs and you know stability all in one the Russian twist is a little hard to do if you don't have a weak core. So the Russian twist is this, you sit and you hover. Ooh. So a lot of people sometimes get the form wrong. They sit into it like this and their back is rounded out. And, they, and they're like, they're doing this, you know? And you want to sit tall, straighten off your back, chest is up, shoulders back, like you're gonna walk tall and you just wanna move the weight or your body side to side. Sometimes I'm guilty of this and it makes me so dizzy. I'll move my head with my body and you don't have to. The best thing to do is stay as stable as possible in the middle. So that includes your head, right? So you're sitting nice and tall, your back is nice and straight, you've got your chest right and you're just moving whatever weight and twisting this this area here okay try to stay away from this because you can hurt yourself and you don't want to hurt yourself plus you're going to get the best core workout and abs workout possible if you keep the frame right all right guys those are the four tips i have for you today don't forget get a workout in i'll leave a couple on the screen here and i'll see you guys in those videos bye